Good morning. It's time for Selichot Sparks. Once upon a time, there was a Moroccan Jew who lived in France. Every year he would travel to Morocco to collect and purchase etrogim. He would then go to Israel and distribute them to the greats of the generation. Many years ago, he arrived at the home of Rav Steinman Zecher Sadik Livracha and brought him an etrog and told the rabbi, I want to tell you a story. I have a friend in France who is very wealthy. This man lives in a building also filled with wealthy people. In particular, there was one person who was a very respected aristocrat. After doing some investigation, I found out that this person was the father-in-law of the king of Morocco. Yes, indeed, his daughter married the king of Morocco. The Jew was very nervous and asked his neighbor, Does the king ever come here? Do they come to visit? The neighbor said, Yeah, he does. He said to his neighbor, Do you think that the next time he and his wife will come that maybe I can sit down with him and have a little talk? I've never seen a king before. I would love to have the opportunity to have a conversation with him. Not a problem, said the neighbor. And so it was, the next time that the king arrived with his wife, who was the daughter of the neighbor, he called the Jew to join. Unlike other surrounding countries, the king of Morocco was very kind to the Jewish people. The king asked the Jew, So, how many children do you have? How old are they? And he began to tell him, My eldest is 17, and my youngest is about to be bar mitzvah in a month. The king stopped him and said, What's he going to be in a month? The Jew realized that when speaking to a non-Jew, they have no clue what a bar mitzvah is. So he explained that when a boy reaches the age of 13, he is responsible for fulfilling all the commandments in the Torah and receives reward when he does so. The king realized that this was religiously connected and asked the Jew if it was possible to give a gift for his bar mitzvah or maybe it was prohibited as a result of religious reasons. The Jew told the king that it was permitted. So the king took out a checkbook and wrote the Jew a check for 40,000 euro. This was his bar mitzvah gift. Now the king saw that his hand was shaking and he told him, I know this might seem like a lot of money, and even if I gave you 4,000 euro, you would be very, very happy. But you should know, I am the king of Morocco, and I don't give gifts every day, but when I do give a gift, I don't want it to be that my name should be blemished or embarrassed in the eyes of a receiver with a lowly gift. I, a king cannot go and give a gift less than this because it would be an embarrassment. Maybe this is the meaning of what we say in the Pasuk. From before you, our king, do not turn us away empty-handed, for you listen to our prayer. We don't want to leave you empty-handed based on our understanding of rekam, empty. You are not the king of Morocco, you are the king of the world. Give us what you understand that meaning to be.